If you want to share your contacts and mailing lists with others on First Class, there are two ways to do this. One method allows you to share copies of your contacts, which means updates to the originals are not reflected in the copies. And the other method is to share a contact database, which means all updates are available to those who share. Let's start with the less desirable copy method first. James has a mailing list and a contact in his contacts folder and he wishes to share with Colton. He simply creates and addresses a new message to Colton and drags and drops these contacts onto the message envelope and sends it to Colton. Colton opens the received message and drags and drops the attachments into his own contacts folder and now these items are available to him when he addresses a new message. The problem is that these copies are no longer tied to the original and if Colton or James updates either one of these items the other person will not see the changes. A better method for James would be to create a shared contacts database. To do this he opens his contacts folder and chooses new contact database and drags the two items into this shared folder. He renames it as James's shared contacts. These two items are still available to James when he addresses an email, however he can now share this database with Colton. He subscribes Colton to the database and now changes the permissions. He adds Colton to the who list and specifies the access rights for Colton. He has chosen to allow Colton to open the items which means that he can open and view the content in the database but not make changes. If he had chosen View List, he would not be able to open the items, and alternatively he could have made Colton a creator, which would mean that Colton would be able to modify the items as well. When Colton logs in, he finds that he has a new email from James, indicating that James has subscribed him to his shared contacts folder. The contacts database has been added directly to Colton's contacts database, and when Colton addresses a message, he has access to those items too. Note, however, that he cannot edit the items.